Afternoon, Parramatta. We we welcome you. Our team are here today to uh, tell people about Jesus and what He did for us, and the message of the cross, and how He gave His life for us, uh, and uh, that our sicknesses uh, might be healed, that our sins could be washed away. When we say we're sorry, which is repentance, as you know, and that we become cleansed, and uh, then we start again. And, and God forgets uh, what we have repented of and Jesus has washed away and we start afresh. So that is wonderful. So the message the Holy Spirit has given for me today is to say uh, what God says in his word about healing. Thank you, Lord, almighty God. Sid Kanu Mikadesh, Yahweh Shammah, mighty, mighty God. God is the source of all healing. He created our body and put healing in it. He does not want us to be sick. He wants us to be well. And the anointing can accomplish what seems to be the impossible. It's supernatural when he comes and heals us. Now what Jesus did makes it available to us. And God said in Proverbs 4, 20 to 22, My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ears to my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. So there we've got the ears and the eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, and there's the heart. For they are life to those that find them, and health to all their flesh. And summing up the whole text, it says here, his words are life and health. So we need the ears, the eyes, and the heart to all be involved, uh, speaking to God. And he says here, his words are life and health, which I just said. Now, God has just healed me of two conditions, and I said this verse and others, 40 and all by Jodie Osteen, the mother of Joel Osteen, the uh, evangelist in American TV, a mighty man of God. He's about 40 -ish. And she was sent home to die of liver cancer when Joel and his sister were very young. And she and her husband, John Osteen, a famous man of God, knelt down in the rectory and asked for healing. One reason being her children were so young. And people asked her about her healing after she'd received it. And she told me, uh, told them that these 40 verses, uh, she used to say them over her body, and, uh, and, and then they went into her spirit. And into her heart. The last I heard she was preaching, Joel said, at 75 years of age in Madison Square Garden. He said, gave the story about five years ago. Now some others say every day, uh, um, Psalm 103.3 and Psalm 107.20 are some verses that can be said. Now we speak with the authority Jesus gives us. Believe the scriptures and receive your healing. 1 Peter 2.24 says, By Jesus' stripes I am healed. It is in Isaiah 53.5 originally, all those thousands of years ago. 1 Peter 2.24 in the New Testament, uh, receive your healing. Now every book in the Bible, the 66 books of the Bible, have healing scriptures. So claim them. For my healing, I would say to God, and it pleases him to hear his word quoted to him, Thank you for my healing. After I said the healing verses, I would say, Thank you for my healing, dear God and dear Jesus. Now, Matthew 12, 25 says, Put it into your heart what God has said. Matthew 12, 25, A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. That's the first part of the verse. So your heart responds. So we're speaking about the ears, the eyes, and the heart. Proverbs 4.23 says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it come the issues of life. Your, your uh, spirit is where your life is. And if heath, heath, healing and faith are not pouring out of it, healing and faith are not pouring out of it, it begins to be weak. And your soul and body become weak. The word of God is spiritual food. We have physical and we have the spiritual, and they must, must be fed. And the Word of God is spiritual food. It's the answer to every situation. Jesus spoke Matthew 4.4, 4, John 6.63, 6, about the spirit and life. So ask him into your life today and follow his teachings in the Bible.
Now to believe this, choose to believe it. You have the will, God's given you free will, just choose to believe these verses in the Bible. Now pray God's word back to him. He loves to be reminded, as I said earlier, and receive your healing by faith, by believing that you're going to be healed. Receive your healing. God gives it as a gift. Meditate on the healing scriptures. Meditate means to mutter, which is what I said earlier. Speak, 1 Peter 2.24, plus others, out loud. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. See yourself walking in good health. Your joy will return. And if I lose my joy, I ask the Father to help me regain it. Sitting on his lap and snuggling into his loving heart is too wonderful for earthly words to describe. Keep saying, thank you, Jesus, for my healing. Go about saying it many times over the day. Confess health and healing, not illness, and you will have victory. The ears hear it, it goes into the heart and into the spirit, and that's what God wants you to do. So you have victory over all sadness, over all sickness and all infirmity. So thank you, Jesus, for all you did for us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you in the name of Jesus, Father. Amen. Okay.